pro student Michael Rajiv Ranjan, the Faculty of Mathematics for ITJ Advanced. I have taught uh, in different corners of India, which are famous for ITJ coaching industry, like Kota, Delhi, Hyderabad, Patna, Bilai, Nagpur, and under my <coughs> supervision. Lots of students have secured good ranks in ITJ advanced. Recently, one of my students, he got All India Rank 239 uh, from Uttarakhand. He was Uttarakhand topper in JEE advanced. And he got 106 marks out of 122 in ITJ advanced. Recently, for you people, when you are beginning to <coughs> ITJ coaching, from class 11, I am going to start quadratic equation as a chapter. So, right now, quadratic equation. Now, when we are talking about quadratic equation, we must discuss first quadratic expression. So, first we have to understand what is quadratic expression and what is quadratic equation. So, quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and quadratic expression is y equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Now, here a is coefficient of x square. B is coefficient of x, C is constant. Now, this coefficient of x square plays a very important role in quadratic equation and expression. Certainly, this will be a quadratic equation under what condition? When a is not equal to 0. This will become a quadratic expression under what condition? When a is not equal to 0. Why? Because when a will be equal to 0, this term will be vanished. It will be only linear equation and linear expression. Okay, no. Second thing is that up to class 10, you have already read that quadratic equation has Two real. This is the quadratic equation when a cannot be equal to 0. So, x you have got minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, see denominator is a. So, denominator cannot be equal to because if the denominator will be equal to 0, the value of x will become either minus infinity or plus infinity. So, you can say this, this explanation, in this quadratic equation, the coefficient of x square cannot be equal to 0. First thing is very much clear. Now, if the coefficient of x square cannot be equal to 0, then we have, if a cannot be equal to 0, we have two possibilities. First is a greater than 0. Second is a less than 0. Okay. So, the coefficient of x square will be greater than 0 and coefficient of x square will be less than 0. Now, second point is quadratic equation. See, quadratic equation and quadratic expression. So, equation and expression y equal to a x square plus b x plus c and equation is a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0. The graph of this quadratic, whenever we draw the graph of this quadratic expression, so we will see the graph will be like this one or 
the graph of this quadratic expression will be this under what condition when a is greater than 0 and this one when a is less than 0. Okay. Now, if this graph intersects the x axis at two distinct points, then this quadratic equation will have two distinct real values. Understand? If this graph touches x axis at one only one point, then this quadratic equation will have one real row. If this x axis neither intersects nor touches the graph, then this quadratic equation will have non real row or no real root. If we are saying that the quadratic equation has no real root, it means this quadratic equation has complex or this quadratic equation has imaginary root. So, the condition is very much clear. Now, this graph of this quadratic expression is vertically upward, parabola. This graph is known as vertically downward parabola. How this graph comes? Whenever we draw the graph of the quadratic expression, how it comes vertically upward and vertically downward, that will be discussed later on. Because this is the introductory portion of quadratic equation and expression. So, I am not going to explain how it comes. You have to remember as a fact that the graph of the quadratic expression is vertically upward and vertically downward. Okay? Now, if the, if the graph of the quadratic expression cuts x axis at two distinct points, we have two distinct real rows. And if the graph touches the x axis at one and only one point, then the corresponding quadratic equation will have only one real row. And if the graph does not intersect or touches the x axis, in that case, quadratic equation will have no real. Now, we are going to discuss individually what are the conditions. See, if we say two distinct real roots, it means its distant is greater than 0. If we say one real root, then this cannot is equal to 0. If we say no real root, then this cannot is less than correct. In this case, the graph of quadratic equation, the graph of quadratic expression intersects the x axis at two distinct points. In the second case, in this case, the graph of quadratic expression intersects at one and only one point. In this case, the graph neither touches nor intersects the axis. So,
Now, here one term that is called identity I am going to explain. All of you know that a quadratic equation has maximum two roots. Yeah, a quadratic equation has two distinct real roots. If I say a quadratic equation has more than two roots, then what will happen? So, there is a term which is called identity. You know, identity means in trigonometry, up to class 10, you know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. What is that? Is this identity or equation? This is an identity, not an equation. Why it is an identity? Because if you put the value of different values of theta, you will get LHS will be always equal to 1. As for example, put theta equal to 0. So, sin square 0 plus cos square 0, sin 0 is 0, so 0 square, cos 0 is 1, so 1 square, so this will be 0 plus 1, that is 1. Put theta equal to 30 degree, so sin square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree, that is 1 by 2 whole square, root 3 by 2 ka whole square. So, this is 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4, that is also 4 by 4 equal to 1. If you put theta equal to 5 by 4, that is 45 degree, so sin square 45 degree plus cos square 45 degree, you will get 1 by root 2 whole square plus 1 by root 2 whole square, this is also 1 by 2, plus 1 by 2, that is also 1. If we put theta equal to 60 degree, this is sin square 60 degree, plus cos square 60 degree, this is root 3 by 2 whole square, plus 1 by root 1 by 2 whole square. So, this is 3 by 4, plus 1 by 4, so this is also 1. It means you put any other values of theta in this expression, the LHS will be always equal to 1. So, sin square theta plus cos square theta is, will always give you 1. You put whatever values of theta, such a mathematical expression which is true for all values is known as identity. Now, this identity, if I say a a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 is an identity. It means this quadratic expression will be equal to 0 for all values of theta. If I say this expression is an identity, it means what? This is true for all values of x. True for all values of x means what? This expression or this equation has more than two roots. And when this will happen more than two roots, if a equal to 0, b equal to 0 and c equal to 0, means if the coefficient a, b, c are equal to 0, then you put any values of x, you will get this result always equal to 0 and under that condition, this expression will become quadratic equation and that quadratic equation will become an identity. Okay. So, if I say under what condition a quadratic equation becomes an identity, so write down as a concept, then the coefficient, suppose I say, suppose I say x minus 1 or you into k square plus 3 minus x into k plus x square minus 1 into equal to 0. So, if you relate this one, 
the value of a is x minus 1. This is quadratic equation in k. So, here a is x minus 1, b is 3 minus x, x minus 1, p is x square minus 1. Now, if this question is, if this is an identity in k, then find the value of x. So, what will happen? This will be equal to 0, so you will get x value 1. This will be equal to 0, so here you will get x value as 1 and 3. This will be equal to 0, so you will get x value as 1 and minus 1. So, for what values of x? This, this and this will be equal to 0, that is x value is 1. So, finally, for x value 1, for x value 1, this expression will become an identity in so, dear students, so this is the introductory portion of quadratic equation and expression. I am going to <coughs> discuss about uh, the nature of the root as you have already done in class 10. The nature of the root of the quadratic equation depends on this one on One and only one factor that is this criminal. Okay. Second thing is that, if I say, if x equal to 1 is 1 root of a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0. Suppose I say, I am giving you a situation, if x equal to 1 is 1 root of this quadratic equation, then what will happen? You put the value of x equal to 1, here you will say a into 1 ka square b into 1 plus c equal to 0. So, here a plus b plus c equal to 0. This is nothing but coefficient of x square plus coefficient of x plus constant term equal to 0. So, what will happen? If coefficient of x square plus coefficient of x plus constant term is equal to 0, then this quadratic equation will have 1 root as 1. Okay. Suppose I say x equal to minus 1 is 1 root of this quadratic equation, then what will happen? a into minus 1 whole square plus b into minus 1 plus c equal to 0. This implies a minus b plus c equal to 0. 